Good morning, folks. We've got quakes, weather, whale anomalies, and two stories that break down the single most important electrical bit of science applicable to the sun and earth. Let's start with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours were very quiet. Primary features of note are the bright arches atop the active regions and the sunspots, and then that little dark coronal hole. Solar wind has been calming for over a day. Geomagnetic conditions are quiet. Any enhancement from that coronal hole would be two to four days away, and these sunspots are quiet too. It's like they're waiting for an invitation to flare. Couple rumbles on Earth to mention, starting with a larger blood echo striking the low velocity zone beneath the Philippines, over 100 kilometers down. Also had one well above average in Puerto Rico, hopefully not a foreshock of something bigger. Major windstorm reported in Alaska with top gusts exceeding 125 miles an hour, multiple regions hit by over 100 mile per hour winds. We're going next to the North Atlantic and finding the largest such whale beaching in the UK in over 100 years. These sperm whales were way off target, not supposed to be there off the coast, but then again, their guidance system uses Earth's magnetic field and it is the most changing aspect of our geophysical reality. Now let's get electric. This is a space bubble, but it started as nothing more than a drop of water. The electrode is applying an electrostatic force to stretch and expand the bubble. The purpose of the experiment was to test various conditions for boiling, but this specific shot with electricity building the structure and shape is key. The same basic principles allow you to rub a balloon on your head, build up static charge, and then bend the flow of water. Works with plastic spoons as well. And when you begin to dive deeper into how water can be made to dance, deform, and tremble, the reality of the hydrophilicity of electricity, or maybe that's the other way around, is that they will attract and go together if they can. The translocation work done by Billy Yelverton in the Plasma Lab has helped us understand why those pre-seismic electromagnetic signals are also likely working water and crystals beneath the ground, perhaps even forcing them to push back up against gravity. And of course, this plays a major role in our electrified atmosphere. Your holiday gem today comes from the proceedings of the Royal Society, and the identified pathway for these rapid lower atmosphere responses to solar activity is electrical. Space weather can add direct charge particle bombardment, increase current density in the geomagnetic system and global electric circuit of the atmosphere, and it can induce electric currents in the atmosphere and the ground and those are perpendicular to the vertical flows. But wait, there's more. The specific space weather phenomena they studied was the co-rotating interaction regions, the sector boundary crossings, Earth taking a hit by the sun's current sheet. These follow easy 27-day patterns that allow for the simplest path from data collection to such an analysis as is being done here. It's simple. When we take the hits by the current sheet, that's the solar wind magnetic reversal. The induced current in the atmosphere attracts the water vapor and the dust, just like a Swiffer duster in your home, and also the aerosols, and they all stick together, and they cloud up the atmosphere. I'll go ahead and do that again for those who can think about more than one thing at a time. Crossing the current sheet induces electric current. It causes clouding up of the system. This isn't all that unlike a cosmic ray cloud chamber's electric cloud production. Indeed, at the solar level, in the lab, and at the galactic scale above, the current sheet exists in the energetic spinning sphere magnet system. In our Christmas special tonight, which you should really come back and see, we'll be going over things relating to what happens when our solar system encounters the galactic sheet. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. I'll see you for the special tonight, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.